हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वाच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो मैच स्टार्ट टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन दिज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information article us treasury takes control of iraq central bank to combat money laundering they said that on august 3 It's confirming the US Treasury Department has taken permanent headquarters in the Central Bank of Iraq building. Why in the world would they do that if there wasn't something important? They're going to put the fire under them. Quote, the Central Bank was forced to allocate. Those are pretty heavy words. Powerful. We surely are not in the same position we have been in past years. This is definitely a different place than we have ever been. our best is yet to come did you hear what salay was talking about recently he spent 45 minutes discussing the value of the currency now that's a long time to focus on one topic so what does it mean for the people of iraq this is the kind of discussion that truly matters right now these are the voices that the prime minister sadani wants everyone to hear think about it change is in the air and it's being led by these key figures every day is filled with talk of monetary reform aimed directly at every iraqi citizen are you feeling the excitement this is exactly what is supposed to be happening at this moment they are getting ready to present something significant to you something they have promised and it seems that you are really close to receiving it Let's dive deeper into what Saleh discussed. When we talk about raising the value of the currency, what does that really mean? It means that the currency becomes stronger, which benefits everyone in the country. A stronger currency can help with purchasing power. This means that you can buy more with the same amount of money. During his talk, Saleh emphasized that this is not just a dream but a well thought out process. He highlighted the importance of education and monetary reform. Iraqis are getting valuable insights into what's happening with their economy. These discussions are not just for economists or financial experts. They are meant for you, the everyday citizen. The government is putting effort into making sure that you understand this important change. Imagine going to the market and seeing prices stabilize or even drop. That's one of the benefits of a stronger currency. Saleh's conversation was full of hope and actionable ideas. He painted a picture of a stable economic future. Now, why is it vital for the citizens to listen to him and others in charge? Because they are laying the groundwork for the future. They are preparing you for what's to come. These discussions build trust and set expectations. When leaders are clear about their plans, it helps everyone feel more secure. Continuing this educational journey is key. So, how do we build on this moment? The first thing is engagement. This means asking questions, discussing ideas, and sharing thoughts on the reform. You might want to talk with your friends about what you've learned. The more conversations you have, the more informed you become. It's not just passive listening, it's about being an active participant. Your understanding of these topics can empower you. Keep an eye on local news and updates from credible sources. Stay connected with your community discussions. It's essential to recognize that change doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and commitment from everyone involved. 
through continuous education and dialogue, improvement is possible. The government is tasked with being transparent. They need to communicate progress and keep the public in the loop. This will help maintain trust and confidence in the system. So, what can you do? Engage. Participate. Share your thoughts. The more vocal you are, the more likely your voice will be heard. Let's make sure that you are prepared for what's ahead. You deserve clarity and betterment in your economic environment. As we wrap up today, I encourage you to think about what we discussed. The focus on monetary reform is not just a buzzword. It's a real push toward a brighter future for everyone in Iraq. Make sure you dive deeper into these discussions. Like this video if you found it informative. Don't forget to share it with friends and family so they can stay informed too. And leave a comment below with your thoughts on what Saleh said. Your feedback matters, and it creates a space for discussion. Remember, you're not just a spectator in this journey. You have a role to play in shaping the future of your country. Thank you for watching, and let's keep the conversation going.